Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today we are taking care of our level 45 Weaver Quest. Hello there Riddle and Rose, I hear it's time for an intervention with our lovely regular client. Riddle and Rose appears to be in high spirits. Oh really? Haha, -ha, it was all so simple, I've conceived of a plan to help poor Wawaruka. He came to me again with another ridiculous commission and I was completely at a loss I had to proceed. But then, a stroke of genius. We simply change his order and dress him as we see fit. This seems unethical. Even if we are doing it with his, uh, with the best intentions. If we ignore his terrible taste in clothing and give him a stylish outfit, Bubba Wai will have no cause to chase him away and he will finally have his chance to speak with Kokomo. And I've just the outfit in mind for this occasion. A beret, gown, and gaskins, all made from the finest wool. I dare, say, I dare say he'll be a man reborn when we finished. Of course, it is necessary that we gain his approval before changing his commission like this, but I am confident that he will see the wisdom in my proposal. Hey, yeah, I mean, okay, that is a good point. If we do talk to him, and uh, talk to him first and say, hey, how about you get some fashion advice from the literal fashion experts? Hey, maybe that might go well. Or maybe he'll feel insulted. But we're also literally the fashion experts. At least Redolent Rose is, so... I would hope that he would take this in good faith. Hmm, Sadora, What are you doing here? I already told Big Rose what I wanted this time. Oh, he wants to change my order? Uh, well, I suppose that's alright. I know I'm a fool when it comes to fashion and all that. It seems I only make things worse when I try harder, too. A woolen beret, gown, and gaskins, was it? Yeah, that sounds nice. I'll meet you there, Satora. Alright, good to see that he is willing to give it a try. Definitely very good to see. So out of those supplies, I actually already have a woolen beret and woolen gown that we made for our crafting log and then are not currently using, so we can just hand those over. Uh, but let's go ahead and make the last item, the woolen gaskins. I have a spare pair of woolen gaskins, but technically I am using them for other classes right now. Uh, let's see. And then while I'm making the woolen gaskins, let's go over the ingredients. Actually, wait, let me just double check real quick. It's the gaskins I need to make, right? Yes, because I'm using those. All right, let's find those gaskins. I'll get crafting and then we can go over the ingredients. So let's see, starting out with crystals for this quest, we're going to need four fire shards, uh, 15 wind shards, four earth shards, and 42 lightning shards. Uh, next up for gathering from the land, we can use botany in the south shroud for two flax and one chocobo feather. In eastern Thanalan, we can mine for two alamin. And in Southern Thanalan, we can mine for three Mithril Ore. From Gigantodes out in Western Thanalan, up north of Vesper Bay, we can find two Gigantodes skin. From Ornery Caracols in Kirtha Central Highlands to the uh, south of Camp Dragonhead, we can find ten Fleece. From Bane Mites in the North Shroud by Falgord Float, we can get two Diamite Webs. And from Opkalu's uh, in Eastern Lenosia by Costa del Sol to the south of Costa del Sol, we can get one Opkalu down. From there, the pre-crafting is as blacksmith, one mithril ingot, two toad leather as leather worker, as weaver, one dew thread, one craft of linen yarn to get two total, one undyed linen, five crafts of woolen yarn to get ten total, and finally four undyed woolen cloth. And that should let you make all three of the items that we are making today for Wawaruka. I must confess, I am rather eager to see how this particular commission turns out. Are Wawaruka's garments ready yet? They are indeed. Though admittedly, I am a little curious what specifically he asked for originally. Excellent, I have no doubt these will suit him well. I think we've outdone ourselves, Satora. Just look at him standing there. A vision of grace and refinement. I don't know. He doesn't seem too happy to me. He seems kind of really down. Wawaruka, are you okay? No, I ain't. 
Is something wrong, sir? I believe they fit you perfectly, but if you desire adjustments... No, no, the clothes are great, Big Rose. Really, it's just... I... I'm sorry, this was a mistake. Whatever are you saying? You look marvelous! Kokomo would be thrilled to receive such a dashing young caller. It's too late. On the way here, I saw her walking with this wealthy-looking fella. Just the two of them. Watching them together in their fancy clothes, it looks right, Big Rose. Like they were made for each other. I ain't one of them, don't you see? You can dress me in your finest silks, but I've still got more dirt under me nails than that girl has in her whole bleeding manse. I was a fool to think she would care for someone like me. I'll never be part of her world. Leave him be, Satora. If he is determined to give up, then there is not what we can do for him. Though he would be far better served by letting Kokomo decide for herself, Wauruka must first find the courage to carry on. Only then will he stand a chance. Oh, Wauruka, trust me. I know. I spoke to her. She is interested in you. God, oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks a lot. Oh, no. It's falling apart before our eyes. This is a tragedy. Well, nothing left to do but work on our own crafting log. Sorry, Wawaruka. I wish I could do more to help. Let's see now. Do we have any catch up we need to do for today? I think. Yeah, there's a couple things we need to catch up on. A woolen doublet, uh, doublet and a felt gown. But other than that, everything we're doing today is from our level 46 to 50 crafting log. So let's see. What do we need? Uh, let me go ahead and switch over so that we only see the recipes we haven't crafted yet. There we go. And what do we need for supplies? In terms of crystals, we're going to need 58 fire shards, 146 wind shards, 61 earth shards, 565 lightning shards, 66 water shards, then... 11 load please oh gosh i really wish teamcraft actually showed the name of the crystals instead of just the image you have to hover over the image for it to load there we go finally my goodness that took a moment 11 lightning crystals and the only reason i need to like actually have the pop-up is my color blindness is just bad enough that i can't really distinguish fire earth and wind and i can't really distinguish lightning water and ice because they're all very similar colors for some reason for me at least uh, anyways, after the 11 lightning crystals, we also need two lightning clusters. Ooh. Uh, lightning clusters, those are going to come from some post-game gathering, actually. But that's fine, because the we're not going to be getting to those recipes anyway. There are two recipes I won't be able to do today. Not even just for lack of having the lightning clusters, but um, they also involve post-game gathering, so... Yeah, uh... If you want to go and find those lightning clusters, the best places would be unspoiled nodes up in Mordona to the east of uh, Revenant's Toll. I don't know why I forgot the name of Revenant's Toll for a moment there. That was embarrassing. I love Revenant's Toll. It's a great little city. But yeah, to the east of Revenant's Toll, there are some unspoiled spots that give you lightning clusters, as well as other elemental clusters. Uh... Anyways, moving on to the actual proper gathering. If you want to go for those unspoiled nodes for the post-game gathering to get the last two crafts that we're not going to be doing today, which are just like two minions that you can craft, we'll be getting to them eventually, just not yet. Um, but if you do want to go for those unspoiled no uh, post-game nodes to get those right now, uh, six silkworm cocoons, which can be found in the East Shroud. Um... You will need six of those. And that's it for the unspoiled nodes, it looks like. Uh, from the central shroud, we can use our botany for one cotton bowl. South shroud, we can get six flax. Uh, mine up 35 effervescent water. Use our botany for five chocobo feathers. And mine up four black alabin. In the north shroud, we can use our botany for two latex. Uh, in Upper Linosia, we can mine up 12 Electrum Ore. In Western Thandalin, we can mine 7 Iron Ore. Central Thandalin, we can mine up 32 Rock Salt. In Eastern Thandalin, we can mine up 11 Alumin. 
Southern Thanalin, we can mine up 6 Mithra Ore. North Thanalin will mine 14 Cobalt Ore. And Kirtha's Central Highlands, we will mine up 1 Jade. From enemy drops, let's see, from Golden Fleece out in Eastern Thandalin on the Burning Wall, you can get 32 Snurbel Tufts. From Grass Raptors out in Eastern Linosia by Wineport, you can get 4 Raptor Skins and 5 Raptor Sinew. Uh, from Ornery Caracools up in Kirtha Central Highlands, you can get 104 Fleece. From Bane Mites in North Stroud by the Falgord Float, we can get two Dire Mites Sinew. From Boars out in South Stroud's Earth's Fount, oh, I wasted an excellent, oh no. But yeah, from uh, Boars out in South Stroud's Earth's Fount or in East Stroud's Bramble Patch, you can get ten Boar Hides. From Opkalu at Eastern Linosia by Costa del Sol, you can get two Opkalu down. From by, uh, Myotrichus Billies and Nannies out in Eastern Thanalan by Camp Drybone, one all goat skin. And finally, Grand Company Seals will buy us something. Grand Company Seals are going to start buying us some of that equipment that we need for crafting. This is specifically for the- ooh, I need a mark off that I got that achievement. That's a good one. Anyways, uh, from our Grand Company, if you have enough seals for it, uh, Grand Company seals for it, you can purchase Potash. We're going to need 18 Potash from the Grand Companies. You do need to be a high enough rank within your Grand Company, so if you don't have it available yet, you're going to need to rank up your Grand Company, which I don't believe I'm actually high enough rank to get the Potash yet. That's fine. I'm going to be working on getting that soon very soon uh but for now we we can't do that we're gonna hold off until later uh well i'm gonna hold off until later for the potash and we only need that for the two crafts that we already weren't doing today anyway uh let's see four pre-crafts as a blacksmith two mithril ingots seven cobalt ingots three cobalt rivets as a goldsmith, one jadeite, three electrum ingots. As a leather worker, we are going to make one old goat leather, ten boar leather, uh, four raptor leather. As a weaver, we're going to make three crafts of linen yarn, four, five, uh, six total rather. Then 20 crafts of woolen yarn for 40, to uh, for 40 total. Eight undyed woolen cloth. Uh, if you're going for that post-game gathering, you can go for three crafts of Silk Thread, which is a level 50 one-star craft. I don't know why they require one-star crafts for zero-star crafts, uh, but that's a little silly. Uh, but yeah, three Silk Thread crafts for six total. As an alchemist, we're going to make two rubber and 32 natron. Back to Weaver, we can make... 32 undyed felt and then if you're doing that post game gathering you can also make two vanya silk which is a two star craft again why is a zero star craft i'll just show you in a moment exactly what crafts we're not doing but why why does a level 50 standard craft require two star post game crafting that is a little bit silly oh my goodness yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at what exactly we're skipping. It's going to be the wind-up Kikirn and wind-up Aldgo. These are made with post-game crafts despite not being marked with stars. Oh, what the heck? It's so weird. Anyways, uh, from Upper Linosia, finally, last thing we can get is from the junk mongers up there in Upper Linosia, one torn coif and one tattered robe. Once we have all of that, we have everything we need in order to do our crafting log for the day. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up on my own time. Which is going to give us some really nice stuff. We're going to have our best crafting gear available. Very nice. I cannot wait for it. And next time on Final Fantasy XIV, it's going to be a Sunday episode. So what are we going to be doing next time? We're going to be doing side quests, but I haven't decided quite where we're doing side quests yet. So, I'll figure that out. And I'll see everyone next time for that.